they were looking for an update and I haven't been doing any updates mainly because I had to shut off my filter because I didn't realize what was happening for a couple of days until I checked my filters and it literally sucked up thousands of those polywogs which I was at an absolute disgust when I seen it because there were literally thousands it looked like a ball full of caviar but they were all pretty much dead I mean there might have been a few alive in there but pretty much they all died so I lost a lot of my polywogs due to not knowing why they they were getting stuck in the filter i i don't know why these things have to swim towards my filter in my pond but they i guess they swim towards water flow and that's what they do they just sucked them up like they were like you were sucking up garbage you know like you were sucking up dirt with a vacuum cleaner so i had to shut my filter off and when i shut my filter off you can see my pond water gets kind of green Okay, so that's not good, but I have no choice but to shut it off and try to main, you know, sub, you know, capture the rest of the the polywogs that I have left in here. So I do have some left. It's not a total, you know. I mean, you can still see there's there's quite a few in here, but these things polywogs take, you know, apparently I I don't remember them taking this long last year, but apparently. They take three, four, five months before they actually turn into, you know, a little baby toad. And I don't ever remember them taking this long before, but I guess it's going to be another three. I'm not going to be running the filter pretty much all summer, it looks like, until the polywogs are done and they can come out of the water. And I really want them to hatch and come out because I want the toad population to keep increasing. And I don't know if I said this in my last video, but polywogs are basically... They're, they're, they're toad tadpoles is what they are. They're not frog tadpoles. They're, they're toads is what they are. And these are the toad population. The polywogs are your toads, and the tadpoles are your frogs. And there are quite a few tadpoles in here, too. I've actually, I wouldn't say caught them, but when this pond was, the water was running out of this pond, there's an overflow drain over here, right in that corner. You can't see it because I got it covered with rocks. But it started washing out a bunch of the creatures that were behind those rocks, and they were a whole bunch of uh, tadpoles, good-sized ones, too. So I caught them all, and I threw them back in. It was only about maybe half dozen or eight or so or something like that. And so I threw them back in a pond, but they're in here. There's definitely tadpoles in here, you know, quite a few of them. So I guess, you know, the tadpoles ain't a problem because they can't fit into that pump strainer, but these polywogs... They're a problem. So I can't run my filter with these polywogs. And it, you'll probably be like, well, just lift the pump up and put a screen on it. I, that screen will clog up in here very quickly. There's leaves. There's plants in the bottom of it. I, I don't even want to. I have to get in that pond to get in there. And I really don't want to go walking in my pond to get in there. So, uh, yeah, I just... Yeah, you know, just leave it alone. I'll let it go. And when I don't see any more polywogs, I'll turn the pumps back on. But that's why the water is really, really green. It's not real green, but it's green enough. You can probably see it on the on the camera. You know, you see, it's pretty green. It needs to be run through the filters, and everything got shut down now because of the polywogs. So we got to wait for the polywogs to finish. <laughs> so what else about here? I added some more fish to it. There's a whole bunch more of. Um, the goldfish but i picked out certain ones i got some of the white goldfish they're white in color which i thought would look cool once they get a little bigger but you're not going to see any fish surface until i start filtering the water again they don't like when it's dirt murky like this they all stay on the bottom I, generally i mean they come up once in a while but they generally stay down low this when it's water's murky like this you can't see them well, once the water clears up, you'll be able to see everything. They'll be coming up to the surface and everything. So I added more of the goldfish. I, I forgot what I got. Like a half dozen or something, or a dozen of them. And the uh, I added more of the, um, what do you call those other things? The minnows, those little minnow things. They're not minnows. They're called um, rosies. They're, they're like white, white ones. and There's some brown ones in here. 
So I added some more of those. Hopefully they'll breed off and, you know, give me some more. And what else did I do in here? I put my, I threw all my excess Rotella from my fish tanks in here. So all my excess Rotella is now growing in here. And you probably can't see it, but on here you can see like the start of the Anacris, which is a water plant that grows native in Pennsylvania. But I, I didn't, th these I weren't um, na picked natively. I actually bought those. And so the Anacris is starting to come up. And uh, when he, once the Anacris comes up, it kind of fills in a large area. A lot of that green will go away by itself because the Anacris is a very heavy nutrient feeder. So it will, f it will filter out some of the uh, nutrients that are produced by the fish, the excess nutrients. So the bottom line is the more plants you get in your pond to grow, the better... Your, your the clearer your pond's going to be without artificial for filtration so that's the ultimate goal so the more plants you got the less filtration you're probably going to need you should control the sunlight a little bit more coming in here you know cut the sunlight back and this water would be clear you probably wouldn't see any algae you know blooms form in here so there are other things i can add to here like tadpole snails and things like that I can add some uh, some of those. They filter the algae out of the water. You can add clams, but clams are kind of a... They like moving water. They don't really like to sit inside of a pond. So I, I don't necessarily think I'm going to do good with clams. But certain things will filter out the water. You know, creatures that you add to it, and they help assist the pond's ecology. And, it, like, I have trees here and stuff that I got growing now to help take some of the sunlight off, and it does help. There's not enough of them. Chico's out here. He's chasing the frogs again. He loves to chase the frogs. See, he's, he doesn't see this one yet over here. See that bum? See, that's a bum right there. Uh-oh. Uh, there he goes. He got him. Yeah, he didn't get him. He just scared him into the water. That's, that's all he does. He goes around and scares my frogs. I, the other day... Where's that frog? There's a frog in here somewhere. Can't see them. Can't see these frogs in here. I'm telling you, they're hard to. You could be on camera here, and you'll never see them. I think he's right over here somewhere. There, there you are. There's a frog. But the other day, I was sitting here by the pond, just relaxing and unwinding. At the end of the day, because I'm doing a lot of work around here, and I have to sit back here and just unwind a little bit before I go in the house and. Just kind of take in nature a little. And a frog jumped on that rock. I didn't realize it was watching me, but it jumped on that rock. And it was staring at me for a while, for like 10 minutes. And then I'm looking at it, and then it went to jump on my lap. <laughs> the thing actually tried to jump onto my lap. He didn't make it. He kind of fell off. And then he jumped into the pond. You know, he, got, he scared himself. But it was funny uh, that one of the frogs actually tried to jump onto my leg. That was pretty cool. But, yeah, there's not much really to to talk about really with the pond yet, really. I mean, it is going. It's, everything's like it is. But until I can get the filter running, get the water clear, I, I really can't show you, like, the fish swimming around. And I can't show you some of the, the frogs and stuff over here. You can see my cattail. My cattails are first time I ever got a cattail, which these these were very difficult to start. I really had a hard time getting the cattail started in my pond. My echinacea, they're getting ready. The deer ate that down. You can see the deer ate the tops of my, all my plants and stuff. It's just upsetting to me because, you know, I'm watching my plants grow around my, around my pond, and then the deer come in and just have to start munching on things, and it's just starting to aggravate me a little bit but um what else is going on here i'm doing other things too i'm gonna plant some fl wildflowers that i got growing in the yard i'm gonna bring them back here plant them around randomly around the edges of the pond i think that would look pretty nice if they could you know i could keep them going and growing throughout the year that would be pretty cool and uh yeah that's really about it. 
can't really think of what else I wanted to say to you. I added some more, um, I cut down some more willow branches, and I throw my willow branches in there to really root out and take up the nutrients, especially now that I'm not running the, the, the filter for the pond. So that willow will definitely help soak up a lot of those nutrients. That is definitely very helpful. So unfortunately, it's not very sightly, but it is controlling the, the life in the pond. So I'm going to leave it for now. And what else we got going here? Yeah, I got some cuttings sitting in there and getting ready to root them out. But that's really about it. Not much left really to say about it. I can show you my some more of my frogs. Where are you guys now? To find these things are hard, man, on this camera. So hard to find anything on here. Yeah, I think there's one right around here somewhere. Where are you, little frog? I don't know. There's one. There's one over here somewhere. Where's my ivies? Down, there you are. There he is. Look at that fat one. Look at my fat little frog. <laughs> Just sitting there watching me. They watch me, you know. Those frogs, they actually watch me. They wait for me to sit here like this. Because a lot of times what I do is I go and I pick the caterpillars off the trees. And I throw them in a pond. I should do that for you guys on camera. Let me see if I can... I should do that for you. Actually, that'd be pretty cool. Feeding my frogs, right? I don't see any caterpillars this year, really. There's not that many. I think they sprayed recently for the caterpillar. And a lot of them died off. Plus the ones that I'm picking off the trees. There's not that many. Usually there's like hundreds of them this year. I don't know. I don't really see any on the trees. Or I'd pick you a couple caterpillars. Let me see if I can find you one. All right, here we go. Yeah, these are thick caterpillars this year. Wow, these are thick. I like armor. Oh, yeah, there's more. You see all the babies. Maybe I'll split this video up into two videos. But, yeah, this these caterpillars, I almost glad I have them because they're excellent food for my frogs and my pond, my fish. My fish don't really eat them. They're hard for, it's hard for my fish to actually catch a caterpillar because you'll see when I throw them in the water see that's what these caterpillars are get a good look at them these are the gypsy moth caterpillar boy these things are nasty but the frogs love them all right so let's throw them in they got like needles on them they actually go into your finger see they're eating them already Here they go. Here they go. They're eating them. Ooh, they're going to woof. Look at all the frogs over there. They're munching those things right down. Yeah, that's gone. There's only like, what, two left? Three left? Caterpillars? Getting ready to munch that other one right there. Oop, it's gone. See how they eat? They don't, like, shoot their tongue out, these things, to grab something. They're not that kind of a frog, I guess. They just leap with their mouth open, and, and they eat them. Try to give you a broader view. It's hard to tell what's going to show up good on camera. You can see there's a caterpillar right there swarming, swarming around. Oh, that's it. He got him. Munched him right up. I think I see one or two more in there. Oh, 
Go get him. He's eating. They're stuffing themselves up good. Usually when I throw caterpillars in the pond, it's a race between the fish and the toads, and the toads win every time. As soon as you throw a handful of those caterpillars in there, that's it. They, they wolf them right down. The fish don't even have a chance. The fish are kind of like stupid, you know? They're kind of like, duh. Uh, which way do you go? They're stupid like. Whereas the frogs, you see the frogs? Yeah, they they know when it, they know what they're doing. Those frogs are smart. They know the deal there. Right, little froggy? Yeah, so the, I I do that with the caterpillars and <laughs> they wait for me to throw. Oh, here's another one. Yep. He's about to eat it. He's getting ready. That's it. Munched. So they, they, they wait for me to throw these caterpillars in. And I throw them in and they they go to town. That's like I'm feeding them. So they're getting to like me. They're getting to know who I am and everything. And then once they're done feeding, then they go back over there. You know. They go back up on the land over there and just hang out. But, yeah, it's going to be a long video. I hope you guys hang hang in there to the end because that's, unfortunately, I didn't plan on feeding them until just now. I just thought of it, so. So, anyway, that's a little what's going on with the pond for, the, for you who've been asking, you know, what's going on with the pond and how are the frogs and things like that and, so, I'm just figured I'd uh, update those that are following my pond videos and my frog videos. Just kind of give you a little glimpse of how it's looking. It's growing in nicely. It's growing in nicely. It takes about five or six years, ten years to be solid, and this whole thing will just become a natural water hole in and of itself so it does take a long time for it to fill in naturally yeah you can fill it in artificially but once it fills in it'll look very very natural anyways i uh, hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment below if you like this video or if you have any comments about it and uh, i'll see you on the next one all right take care